Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2003 for race 9 of 36. We're going to Talladega, aka the one fourth of the season is about to be completed, so kind of neat to, uh, that we're at that point. So after the last two races, we've built up a very good point lead. Will that continue going to Dega? Who knows, but we don't have to worry about Ryan Newman. Uh, that's two wins in a row. Martinsville was because of the AI being dumb. I didn't. I never even got to look at my lap lead thing, but we're actually in the bracket. We're, we're fifth. Hooray to that. Rusty Walls try harding very difficult. Very much so. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but yeah. I don't think there's a whole lot else to divulge into. We are going into this with the Little Tykes Ford. Every time I say Little Tykes, it sounds like I'm saying something offensive. I don't know. It's just... I don't know why I think that. It just it feels like I'm about to say some slur. I don't I don't know. Like tangents aside, let's get into Dega. But before we do, thank you to my tier two Patreon people as well as my YouTube members supporting channel appreciate early access feels like this and other stuff, as well as channel emails and stuff for when I live stream. I appreciate it. Thank you as always for the support. It really does mean a lot, so thank you. Let's get in the Dega and and drive raw. So car setup obviously I Shockingly, default, not going to change anything. From what I did in practice, this track is a little bit easier than Daytona. For what reason, I don't truly really know. But we're just going to go with it. And we're just going to see what happens. So, uh, MRN, take it away. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series visits the famous Talladega Super Speedway today for the Aaron's 499. This is Joe Moore and Barney Hall for MRN. And we're live to bring you all the action. And Barney, this track always manages to produce some white knuckle moments. Let me sum it up for you all. 2.6 miles, four lanes, 190 miles an hour. Just doesn't get much better. Let's just hope these guys can stay out of the big one. Scott Wemmer doesn't have too good of a record at these big super speedways. Yeah, these big tracks have definitely not been kind to him this season. Don't count him out yet, though. That team has been working extra hard since they rolled off the truck. Elliot Sadler hasn't been much of a factor this year at the Super Speedways. I say I really expected him to be better on these tracks than he has been. Maybe this race will turn things around. The Rubbermaid Ford will try for another top five finish in this one. And let me tell you something, Joe. You throw in a couple of wins to go along with those top fives, and all of a sudden you're in the hunt for the championship. Rusty Wallace on pole again. Two for two for him. Johnny Benz is up there. Ryan Newman's up there, who's uh, second in points. Also, I noticed there's more things wrong with my little Tykes car than I never than I never even noticed. There's a NASCAR 2000 logo on that car when he that was run in 2002. So there's just all levels wrong with this car. Anyways, Dega, uh, they do check up out of in the middle of one and two is it technically quarter 1.5 i don't know but we're gonna be on the lookout for that we're gonna be slow here on the initial start but we're banking on them checking up i'm gonna go up high here just in case but that does seem to happen for whatever the reason so i'm trying to anticipate it and it's not happening that's not that's oh, okay they okay well they checked up off the corner oh my god kyle petty frank kimball had some freaking Fa la 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 issues. Wow, what a run. What a great start. All right, we're backing off a little bit because I, I I was going to hit Shane Hall if I didn't back off, but good. Almost 10 spots gained on the first lap. Don't know why Talladega is a lot easier than they don't they, 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 but it's all. They don't know. That's, uh, that's going to be clipped. That's going to be absolutely clipped there. That was, What is wrong with me? Whoa, Kenseth Carlo. But yeah. So I think we could also get away with just taking normal four tires and just have a, for all intensive purposes, a fair normal race so we don't have to do any type of cheeky tactics to gain a bunch of spots. So it's nice. I appreciate that. I'm trying to, I'm going up high here because I keep thinking they're going to check up, but okay, are we going to get Nadu's draft there? Pull us a bit. We'll get by park. Kind of gravitate down low and get the spot. We're moving up. This could be a track where we have a realistic shot to win if things go normally. I am going to try to pit early just to get that wonderful slurpy undercut. 
and you know go from there. But so far, this is pretty normal. Uh, ignore the fact that the little tykes on the back, it logo is wrong. They've blown it up so much that the top part of it is just doesn't exist. And uh, yeah, looks bad. I don't know what other example I can use, like another car that has like a logo where they, they, they clip it off. But uh, yeah, bad. You don't want that. But we're moving up through the field. Nicely so. 200 miles an hour, that's, that's got to be a speed record. John Andretti car low. Three wide. I didn't really see any alternate schemes. I, I think Johnny Benson was like the only one I saw that had alternate scheme. Rusty Wallace trying to try hard into being the first person to lead 100 laps this year. That seems like what he's trying to accomplish. So, big props to him. He's actually third in points, so we should actually be a little bit concerned about that. I just can't believe Sterling Marlin fell off as hard as he did. He went from leading the points to now being in 10th. Because it, one was like a DNF, another one was, I guess, just a bad run in Martinsville. But I feel like everyone had a bad run in Martinsville because they paid twice because they stupid. So, I don't know. But, hey, we're up in the top half of the field. About to hit the 200 mile an hour threshold again. Maybe 20, uh, I thought I was going to hit 201, but never mind. But, yeah. This uh, this is definitely doable. It's crazy. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm just I'm surprised it's like this. They told us it's going to be even harder when we get down there the second time because we're going to have less laps. Though we are going to be a little bit better at, at racing because I've been racing this or playing this game so much maybe I'll be a little bit better or maybe I'll use manual gears because apparently manual gears at least at these tracks really are a big advantage so I could have been doing that this whole time but I didn't because I kind of was because for whatever reason when I was little I never thought to use manual gears I don't think I've actually bothered using manual gear oh that's bad that is well that's a lot of spots gained but I, I I don't have anyone to drive with, so I'm going to lose a lot of time. So, uh, this, this doesn't help. Long-term wise, this doesn't help. And look at that gap from me to 11th. That is huge. That is, oh my God. I, thank God I'm pitting next. That is, oh my God. That is, I've seen them wiggle wobble and lose time, but not to this degree. Where they're like five seconds back, just about. They're hitting the line now. That is six seconds back. Words can't describe the levels of frustration. That that exudes from my soul. But we're going to be pinned this lap anyway. So maybe it's not the end of the world. I don't know. This kind of just puts me in a really awkward spot. Because. Unless I gain time from the cycle. I don't know. Hopefully people pin in front of me. To give me a shot. I hope. No? Well, I'm pinned. I don't know what other gamble I can use. I'm in a weird spot now because we're so far behind. Just standard four tire stop, and then that's it. I, let's just hope this works out. This should have been an easy race. This really should have been like an easy race win, but the, the AI had to be stupid, and I don't, I don't even understand. I'm just, I'm annoyed. That should be a 15-8. That's actually pretty good. We actually nipped John Andretti's back bumper as we left pit road. And a good chunk of people pitted. I I, I don't know where this is going to cycle us out. We might be in no man's land. And this isn't like a no man's land situation where we could have probably backed off maybe like two seconds at Daytona. This is like six seconds. Like that, that is definitely not going to make me win the race. No matter, I, I'm like screwed. I'm screwed. I don't know where to... I can't just do nothing. But if I do something... It's not enough time to get up there. So I'm just fundamentally... I'm, this race is butt-fumbled. And mind you, the AI sliders, they are on like the lowest slider. So they shouldn't really be making mistakes. So the rec frequency is at its lowest. I guess that's technically a mistake. But that's going to cost us that's probably a chance to, to win the race. Because that's just... That's just, it's just awful. And now we're just going to wait for everything to cycle through and hope we just have at least one singular partner to draft with. Of course, Ryan Newman is just up there leading laps. It's like, I don't even know what to say. It's just like my Thunder 2004 livestream series. He's just absolutely OP. 
And here, in this game, he's just another championship threat. Like, what is this? Why is Ryan Newman, lately, in any Thunder series, just, just a GOAT? I don't even know if pushing him like this is even the strat. This actually is probably hurting our... This is probably actually hurting our chances even more because this actually puts Newman in a really good spot to win. And I and he's my championship competitor. I should be doing this, so... I just make it worse for myself. I should I should not have done this. This was just a bad idea. But then it hurts my chances of even doing better, so... I'm screwed. I, I... What is the... What is Talladega... In these for in my in my in the history of this channel to always bone me somehow. If I don't help Newman, then I destroy my race. But if I help Newman, that helps his race. It makes it better. And he's running second points now. I'm just screwed. And it's like no matter what I do, I'm just I'm just it's just eternally screwed. I I don't know how I end up in these precarious situations. This track is the equivalent of your pants down, and someone takes a picture of it and then it goes viral, and then you are just known as the freaking ankle man. Newman's finally pitting. I don't know where that's going to cycle him out. And I don't really... I still don't have a draft partner. This game is really make it, reminding me how forever alone I am. Just, just stop. It's too real. I resorted to just rotate the stick instead of tapping it. It's like the only thing I can do. But I'm just stuck with no one. There's just no one I can draft with. If I back off too much, then there's no way I'm going to make up any of that time. So, I'm just screwed. This whole race just got destroyed by the mistake of Dale Jarrett. And we might cycle out 10th, but that's all we're going to be able to do. I thought for sure this track would be the day where we could get a top 5 at a super speedway, but nope. Not going to happen. And all because of something really uh, unusual. It's something I just really could not foresee. So, thank God you're seeing an edited version of this. Can you imagine next four laps just me being by myself, just in agonizing pain? I don't want to. I don't want you to suffer that. That's Mark Martin, crew chief. That is not Matt Kenseth. That is wrong number, wrong age, wrong everything. Oh, there's what is happening up here? Oh, that's that's some spots. That is some spots. What is what is happening? Why is Michael Waltrip so slow? I guess he was leaving pure as well. I don't know. I'll take it. P5. Sure. Sure. Capital S for sure with an H in there. Never mind. We are going to get a top five in this race. I, I don't even know what to say. Michael Waltrip just systematically held up four cars. I, I don't I don't know. I don't understand. Whatever. We're just going to ride this out and bring it home in the top five. We, I think Newman's still leading, so we're still going to probably lose points to him, but it's not going to be as much. So there's that, at least. Losing more time to leader. Johnny Benson in third. He just passed Jimmy Johnson on racetrack. Looks like Gordon and Walsh are eventually going to catch me, but that's not enough to make up any time. So it's just me and fifth by myself. Fourth and third in their own pack, and second and first in their own pack. We just got, like, two packs. Of just two cars. I I don't understand. This race just continues to get stranger and stranger. And now all I really have to do now is just... Just block. Rusty Wallace is behind me. So we'll at least gain a little bit of points on him. But yeah, all we just got to do is do a little bit of blocking. And this top five will be ours. White flags out. I'm assuming Ryan Newman. Maybe Tony Stewart 1-2. I can't even really tell. I wouldn't be surprised if Newman's up there. I helped him. I in, in turn helped him. So, I don't know. I, that's my fault. I shouldn't have drafted with them. I should have just suffered myself or found a way to push someone else. I, I just, I wasn't thinking clearly, uh, like, enough. And now we just help Newman gain points on me. Which is kind of disgusting that I caused it. I don't know how I do this to myself. But yeah, just casual blocks. Nothing really major there. Too, it's really, it's not that bad. We're gonna bring it home at top five at a super speedway in this season. Hallelujah! It was a lot. It was very weird, but that's just Talladega and me always being strange. Never ceases to amaze me. Brian Newman one, Bobby Labonte second, Johnny Benson okay, Rusty Wallace ninth. Okay.
Take a look at the finishing results, I guess. Newman probably led the most laps. We should have. We should have had it. Such an easy win. That should have been so doable. Newman led the most. Johnny Benson led five laps somehow. I, what is this? He just straight up got third. He straight up passed Jimmy Johnson. I, okay. Rusty was up there. He led a lap. We're definitely going to lose points. Maybe only 30 to Newman. So 155 for us and then 100 and 185. Yeah, we lost 30. So our point lead should be like 73 something. Rusty was up there, but he's going to lose points to me. Tony Stewart with the top 10, Mark Martin 11, Ward Burton, Dale Jr. Sterling Marlin again just kind of falling apart here lately. Kyle Petty, which is a shockingly good run for him. Dale Jarrett, who wiggle wobbled, ruined his race. A Yates car finishing 21st in any context is disgraceful. And the only one car I think that saw that DNF, I think, was Mike Skinner's. Kenseth back in 38th. That is just reprehensible. Yeah, he was the only one that DNF'd. Well, let's look at the points. See, uh, let's also look at how far Marlin has... Marlin? What the fuck did I say? Marlin has fallen. Marlin fallen. I like the alliteration rhyme there I did there. I was unintentional, but it worked. Yep, 76 back to uh, for Newman. Rusty Walls dropped a little bit. Why? My controller just died. Right as that race ended. If that race went, like, another three minutes longer, or if I... I the timing of that is unbelievable. Is it? Okay, it's... Why did it shut its... Okay, I'm glad it told... It's giving me this warning now so I can change batteries so we don't have the controller die just mid-race. So, d thank you for the warning, controller. I appreciate it. Mark Marlin's fifth. We're starting to kind of see where the championship battles are uh, going to sort out. Sterling Marlin just continued... Bobby Labonte again with another, like, really good run. I'm noticing that too. Dale Jarrett dropped like a rock. Marlon. That is. Marlon's got to pick it up. That is a lot of points he's losing on the table. Johnny Benson now 12th. Ricky Rudd 17th. What is. What? Oh. Johnny Benson's having like a career season in this season mode. I don't know. Just, just shocking. And that's Newman's second win. He's also the second person to have double wins this season. We keep our top five streak, though. We, we keep that alive, so that's other just wild stat. And Newman, is uh, his average finish is seventh, so that's also really good. So, yeah, we're, like I was saying, we're starting to kind of see the crop rising to the cream, the cream rising to the top, however you, way you want to word it. And, yeah. And I didn't think Newman was going to be another one we're going to have to worry with. In 2002, usually it's always kind of Sterling Marlin or Dale Jarrett, maybe Jeff Gordon. But, um, yeah, that's, this game really hyped up Newman. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, what did he do prior to 2002 that was, like, thinking, like, oh, he's going to come to the Cup Series and just be amazing. I mean, he kind of did that in 2002 already to begin with, but he did beat Jimmy Johnson in the Rookie of the Year battle, so I guess that's also kind of just wild to think about. It's weird. Ryan Newman's p career peaked. Or like the th from like 2002, three and four were like his absolute like peak years, and then after that, it wasn't as much. It's weird. It's weird how Newman peaked that early, that quickly, that fast. It's funny to think about because in those three years, he got eight wins in 2003, uh, one win in 2002, so that's nine wins, and then 2004 he got two, so we got 11 of his 18 wins in three seasons. That's crazy to think about. I don't know. I don't know. Tangents aside, uh, we're just we're just gonna wrap wrap things up. Talladega, a, a classic track of just confusing me in more ways, and that was definitely a new way for me to be confused. I wasn't expecting that to happen. So yeah, just add that to the freaking list of of the ways this track has cursed me. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters today from our channel 15, Kamikaze Games, Bailey Carrier, Mexico League 196, Jason Hellman, and my name is Sean for the support again. I appreciate what you guys do for my channel every single month. It does me a lot. It truly goes a long ways with everything. So truly and, and fruly, that's not a word. Um, just thank you for the support. I will see you all next episode of California. I don't know what that's going to be like because I haven't practiced there yet, but I'm going to get my paint scheme situated for that. Hey, we're back to the classic rubber main 2001 version car. So nice to see that. So, 
I don't know how that's going to go. We'll, we'll figure that out. But the next couple races, I don't really know. Richmond usually is pretty good for us. Uh, Charlotte might be actually really difficult. Same with Dover. Um, Pocono, I remember, I remember very vividly how difficult that track is. So we're going to be coming to a, up to a couple tracks where we might lose points to Newman or or something. So we're going to try our best to just do as good as we possibly can in the races that I think we can do good. Like Richmond, for example, and then go from there. So we're definitely not obliterating the field like in uh, Thunder 2002. So, uh, cause I think by race 10, we already had like a hundred, a multiple hundred point lead in here. We only have 76. So I, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be sweaty. We only got a couple wins just because of luck. So, uh, or just lap traffic. So, uh, I don't know. Um, either way, I'm done. I'm done rambling. I rambled too much in this episode. I will see you all next episode. See you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.